name's Miles, Daniel Miles, and this is a donkey of the Angry Birds movie. Alright, so let's break it down. After the pigs steal all their eggs, a group of idiotic birds turn to the only person with a brain cell, his friend the Flash, and another one that explodes, in a bid to go and rescue their children. Okay, so this is the first movie ever made that's based off of a smartphone game. Three minutes in, my girlfriend turned to me and asked if we could leave yet. Nine minutes later, I counted, she was laughing at the film. And that kind of sums up our whole experience. One second, we're watching something absolutely agog and we can't quite believe what we're seeing. And the next minute, we're chuckling along. Only chuckling, mind you. This film doesn't get that much credit. The voice cast is fine. Peter Dinklage turns up for some unknown reason. I think the main guy is miscast. It should have been someone like a J.K. Simmons who's a lot angrier with their voices. This guy just seemed too sort of nice and genial. Unfortunately, from what I've played with the game, there doesn't really seem to be a whole village of idiots in it. This is one of those films where every single person has the IQ of a turnip, except for the one main hero guy. I mean, it was bright, it was colourful, it killed 90 odd minutes, but when the film warns that it has toilet humour, it's not joking. I swear to God, some of those jokes belonged in like one of those 15 gross out comedy movies, you know, like This is the End or American Pie, that sort of level of humour. There were quite a few gasps from mums and dads in the audience and quite a few giggles from the younger visitors. The plot's not really stretching or challenging, you can tell who the bad guys are, you can tell who the good guys are, you can kind of work out where everything's going. It does meander a little bit. I mean, from what it was based on, yeah, they, they've got a lot out of it. The dialogue doesn't crackle, none of the characters is in any way differentiated, they're all just sort of very one note. A lot of the gags, I think, go over the kids' heads, and I hope a lot of them go over kids' heads. There's a lot of inappropriate humour. The film does have some chuckle-worthy moments, and I did laugh at a few, but for every moment that worked, there are about three that didn't. What child is going to be interested in Shining references? Or, and not even references, direct lift. There's a direct lift from The Shining, which confused a lot of kids in the audience, because, well, what four-year-old has seen The Shining? Extended jabs at meetings, at court proceedings, and the film takes a hell of a long time to get going. For about the first hour, you're just sitting there waiting for these eggs to be stolen so that they can get on with actually being angry birds. And that, that takes too long. It's not a long film by any stretch of the imagination, but it feels padded. This would have been better as like an animated series, about 20 minutes an episode. Every week the pigs come up with some kind of idea to steal the eggs and they're defeated by the angry birds. That would have been a better idea than this film which, yeah, it's not the worst video game film I've ever seen, it's not the best video game film I'm ever going to see, please, 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 please. But on the whole, this is a poor film. It takes too long to get going. Some of the humour is shockingly inappropriate for a film that was rated universal in the UK, meaning that this film, in theory, isn't going to offend or scare or intimidate anyone from the age of four and up. But what did you guys think? And which smartphone game do you think should be turned into a film next? I'm Daniel, this is a donkey. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.